check, check, check. All right, we have some uh, guest speakers this evening who are going to keep us abreast of what's going on in Frederick's local arts community. So, Rhonda, since you're the first one right there at the door, come on up. This is my longtime friend, Rhonda Smith, who's representing uh, the Artist Gallery. And uh, Rhonda recently retired art faculty from Shepherd University. So, Rhonda, take your time. Students, believe it or not, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> and I want to thank Dawn for inviting me to come and to talk a little bit about TAG, the Artist Gallery. Um, I want to give Dawn just a little hand because you know what? He does a great job of promoting the, um, the visual and performing arts in any community that he's in, and he, he really has a passion for this. And I just think it's a wonderful thing when a community has somebody like that that's really rooting for all the artists. So again, just give him another big hand. Thank you, Don. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. He's still, he's still here for Frederick. So I'm here to talk a little bit about TAG, the Artist Gallery in Frederick. We moved in April. Um, you know, we got closed down right before COVID hit, and then, you know, COVID. And so we found a great new space at 501 North Market Street. It's just across 5th Street, and if you make it all the way up to 5th, you'll find that there's Noma Gallery, the Griffin Center, and TAG, the Artist Gallery. And it's a great little artist community up there, and we're doing lots of great art. We've got lots of really good artists, lots of different styles and techniques and ways of thinking and doing and making art. Every month, the exhibits up there change. Every month. So first Saturday, there's always a new show up. So if you're interested in the visual arts, Really, get on up North Market, up to 5th. I see so many people who stop at 3rd, look around and go, oh, there's nothing up there. I'm telling you, there is something up there, and you need to get up there and check it out. So this month we have Tom Sims, who's a plein air painter, and we have Karen Peacock, who does collages. And right now, her collages, she's got two different kinds, some with fabric, uh, pajamas actually, and she's calling it Sweet Dreams. And then she's got another series that um, are famous people. And when I sit in the gallery, I love watching the people come in and look at her famous people and try and figure out who they all are, because they're they, some of them go back in history, and so sometimes people are really scratching their heads trying to figure out who's who. So come see the show we have up right now. It'll be up until the end of the month. First of the month, we change over. Julie Maynard's going to have a show along with Chris Stovall. Julie does mixed media pieces, sculptural, as well as flat 2D collage-like pieces. And Chris Stovall does ceramic uh, figures as well as painting. So I'm not quite sure what they're going to have in the show. It'll be a surprise for me, too. But whatever it is, it'll be great. Please support the visual arts in Frederick. There are lots of great galleries, not just a little cluster up around Fifth Street, you know, but I got to promote that one, right? So check them all out. There's lots of good stuff in Frederick. Thank you, guys. One more speaker, Miss Andrea McCluskey on behalf of Noma. Come on up, Andrea. Thank you, Don. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight and supporting all these great musicians. And um, I'd like to put a plug in for Noma, which is right across the street from the Artist Gallery. We have right now um, work by uh, Jeff Bolander. He does um, big paintings and collages. The title of his show is How the Light Gets In, and um, there's a really interesting, um, his work is uh, mines uh, not only the um, visual arts, but also he works with um, text and um, with books. So it's really an interesting show. And uh, again, come out on the first Saturday, it changes every month. And um, 
the next show will be a plein air painting um, show coming up. So we're right near where Guido's used to be for all of you um, people who used to go up to Guido's and if you travel up that far you can get a beer at Old Mother. We're not too far from Old Mother. So come on out. Thank you guys everybody.